Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 36 of Enigmatica 6 Expert. In the last episode, I promised we were going to get into this quest line here to start working on atomic alloys. And um, in between episodes, I've been uh, doing some of the prerequisite quests in the mechanism line. Most of these recipes were pretty easy to set up. There wasn't uh, anything too tricky. Just setting up recipes for things. Uh, but now we are over here. We can start working on this one and this one. Um, so this one is where we build the fission reactor. And then this one is where we get all of the ingredients for the fission reactor. It actually doesn't have any, like this one doesn't need any tasks. It's just kind of tells you, you know, you take sulfur, you put it in the chemical oxidizer, you get out sulfur dioxide, blah, blah, blah. And then all the way down here, you end up with fissile fuel which is what we pump into the reactor up here. So I've also set up recipes for all of these things and I've gone ahead and um, uh, crafted them all. This one needed liquid concrete, which we already had concrete uh, over here. This is where we were making the concrete blocks out of the concrete, uh, liquid concrete. So I just piped it out here into a tank so that I could access it. Uh, that was also pretty straightforward. So, uh, what did we get? We got lots of stuff. Oh, we got a quantum entang- Two quantum entangler porters? That? Wait, was that like a guaranteed quest from something? Or was that just random? Oh, there we go. That's cool. Uh, block of coal, blah, blah, blah. Speed upgrades. Oh, actually, I was going to put the speed upgrades in here. Because this guy- uh, Actually, I think I made some more, in fact. Yes, they were supposed to go in here because this guy was, uh, we had to make lots and lots of, um, atom what are they, atomic alloys? No, the alloys. And uh, it was taking too long. Geiger counter. And, oh, a jetpack? Wait, what? How do I do that? How do I use this? Do I put it on my back? Whoa, that's pretty cool. How much power does it need? Oh, it uses hydrogen. Interesting. Uh, wait, can I... How do I move, like, forwards? Whoa, you can fly this way, too. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Maybe I should use this. Oh, I guess that's my elytra that's doing that. That's interesting. I should look into that. I'm going to keep that and we're going to look into that later on. And the quantum entangler porters are also uh, handy. We could use those for uh, farming our wither stuff. But I don't think we need to. This is, uh, yeah, this is already full <laughs> and this is half full. So I think we have enough of that stuff. All right. But as I said, I did, oh, not mission, fission. I did make a bunch of these stuff things that we will need uh, and the fuel rod wait no what was it called rod something rod yeah control rod assembly and also uh, reactor glass there we go I made two stacks of that too so I think that should be what else are we missing no wait what oh it wants four of these ones okay let me put some of these back Uh, what are they? Fission reactor ports. This one. Alright, let's get that going. And now the other question is... Um, where are we going to put this thing? I could put it inside somewhere. But I think it might be better to put it uh, outside. And I'm thinking maybe we put it down near the lake here because... I'm not going to use the lake water, but, you know, that's kind of where you put uh, reactors, isn't it? Near the water. Maybe we could put it over here, so that way if it uh, irradiates everything, it's not going to irradiate our base. Maybe. Maybe it will. I don't know how far the irradiation goes. But we're not going to make it irradiate our base anyway. We're going to be safe. Alright, I'm going to clear up some area, and we're going to put it down here near the water. Okay, so I think this is where I'm going to build it. 
Uh, we should also have that fission reactor port finished by now. Yep, there we go. So that's that quest done. Um, so yeah, it could be up to 8 by 8 by 8 but my plan was to build it... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six. So the inside will be 3 by 3 and we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 react, uh, rod assembly thingies. So let's just do that. We got to make it this and then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't know how tall to make it. Let's see how much uh, resources I have. Okay, that seems to have worked. And then, so we have uh, one port, two ports, three ports, four ports. And then I have the uh, logic adapter here. This is all one chunk. The chunk border is actually right along here. So technically this block and the block like this block is in different chunks, but I think that's okay. Mostly I wanted to get everything so that like this direction here is where we will put all of our uh, infrastructure to support it, right? We need to make um, the fuel... Uh, the fissile fuel now so I think I'm gonna make it like actually here uh, right on the water and we're gonna use this water to make the fissile fuel although I think I'm going to make a uh, cooking with blockheads sink to supply the water for this thing um, so this is uh, the recipe here it's pretty doable two runes of mana runes of water the everlasting spring so I have one of these already I think uh, or at least, I don't know if I have a full one, but we've made that before, right? Oh no, we made the Aura Cache, Aura Trove, Ingot of this. Yeah, that, okay, that's easy to make. We can make that. I guess it just holds more. Um, and then the Everlasting Water thingy is also pretty Everlasting Spring. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, it needs one of these. So um, I'll make the, the Cooking with Blockhead sink to supply this thing with water. Just because it's uh, it's as as fast as you can get. <laughs> um, but let's get the infrastructure ready to make the fissile fuel. So uh, I think the easiest way is probably to just follow the quest line. So we take um, sulfur and we put it into a chemical oxidizer. Oh, actually, I don't think I set up a recipe for chemical oxidizer. Let's get that going. Chemical oxidizer. Uh, do we have, we don't have everything we need yet. Okay, so let's get this going. Uh, chemical oxidizer, we need aqueous accumulator. That needs water reagent. And uh, we need a chemical injection chamber. Okay, this needs a bunch of stuff. All right, let me set this recipe up. It'll take a while. Okay, I got the oxidizer. And um, I think what I'm going to do is use Xnet to set up all of the cables because we can use um, the advanced cables, uh, the advanced connectors to make sure that we do it like the sides are correct and everything. Otherwise, if you do it like native mechanism or whatever, you end up with cables going everywhere and machines being in weird places. So I think this will be a good way to just make it a little bit cleaner. Hopefully, I don't know if this is gonna be enough space actually. Uh, I guess we'll find out. But so I'm gonna put, I wanna put it so that it looks nice too. Something like that. And then we will set up our cables. Um, I have the the, ME, the refined storage system coming from, we, we have it in here for our, uh, these things, whatever that's called. So um, I can just bring it over to here for the interface. I have sulfur dust set up. So let's get some uh, connectors going here. Make sure it doesn't, we can cover it up again. Uh, something like this and like that. Oh, I don't have jump boost here. Uh, this one we have, we can put it in any direction, right? So let's go in from the bottom and, oh, we also need uh, the connector to be attached to this thing. I'll have to cover that up so it doesn't look so weird. And then, um, oh, we need a solar panel, of course. Actually, we're probably gonna need a few solar panels. Let's make 10. Um, so let's set it up so that we have items 
coming out of here and sulfur dust. I'll filter everything so that we can reuse the channels because we're going to need quite a lot of them. Sulfur dust going into there and we have a solar panel going. So let's get you on and you should be getting, should be working right. Items in from the bottom. Why isn't it working? Extract, insert. Should be working. Yes. Uh, we're also going to need a solar panel on you, but we don't have one yet. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm silly. It should have been uh, this one, not this one. So it's working now. We have sulfur dioxide coming through. Um, now we just follow the quest line uh, we have sulfur dioxide. We put it into a chemical infuser and we get, we should get sulfur trioxide and oxygen out. Um, or no, do we put it in? I can't remember. And then anyway, I'm going to follow that quest line until we get all the way down to uh, fissile fuel. And then I'll be back once it's all uh, set up. And this is the last step. Oh, uh, here we go. So I have everything set up here. Um, I'll go through it just very quickly, but basically I have uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff here. We have um, sulfur dust going into here, turning into sulfur dioxide. We have uh, sulfur dioxide plus oxygen turning into sulfur trioxide. Here's our electrolyzer turning water into water vapor. We have water vapor and sulfur trioxide turning into sulfuric acid. We have, uh, this is the electrolyzer making the hydrogen and the oxygen. Uh, from the water and then we have the sulfuric acid turning into hydrofluoric acid and then we have whew, Uranium turning into yellow cake uranium yellow cake uranium being oxidized and then both of those two things hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide turning into uranium hexafluoride the final step in the equation is Uranium hexafluoride through the isotopic centrifuge becomes fissile fuel. And this is the isotopic centrifuge right here. So I'm going to put it, I want it to go in there, right? So I kind of want to put it like nearby, I guess. Uh, I didn't leave space for this. Let me fill in this bit. Oh, I don't have enough grass. Uh, hmm. Where should I put this thing? Uh, I guess I could just put it like here or something then. That seems to be okay. And it also needs a solar panel on it. So let's put a solar panel on it. I have that, here's that where the water uh, is coming from. And I just use a, oh, I got stuck in the reeds. And then I just use a entangled block down here to get it. Uh, all right, so let's get you hooked up with the stuff so there and like so now what are the side configurations like we can input from the bottom uh, so basically the way i've been doing it is i've just been using a regular connector for the ones that i can so like this one is an advanced one uh, most of them are advanced, but some of them I just needed to use a regular one because you can configure it to go in and out. Uh, let's get our gauge dropper. We'll empty it out. We'll fill it up with a little bit of this. Just a tiny bit is enough. And then so we want to extract from that chemical oxidizer, which is, this is the problem, is like figuring out what's, what's what. So that one already has an extract. That one has an extract. Wait, which one is it then? One of them that doesn't have an extract. Oh, wait, is it an inf Oh, it's this one here. Oops, silly me. Yes. Okay, so we can extract from here. I try to reuse as much as I can as well. Uh, and then we insert into this one, the gas. Uh, yeah, that should work. The only thing is the side configuration. So we'll make it output the east side so this one should be east okay that should do it there it goes it's going in 
And why doesn't it have power? That's weird. Why doesn't it have power? Oh, I guess the power has to go not on the top. Let's see. Uh, that's not power. Oop. That's not power, is it? That is power. That's weird. Okay, fine. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's making fissile fuel. So let's get a gas. No, what are they called? They called chemical tanks. So let's get the biggest one we can make, which I think we can make elite, basic, advanced, advanced, advanced. I thought I could make elite. Oh, there it is. Let's make an elite one, and we'll uh, put the output into the elite tank. So I haven't um, optimized any of this stuff. I haven't put any upgrades in any of them. So that's something we'll probably need to do. I'm not sure how, uh, you know, fast everything is going to be. There we go. So let's just put it here. And we will hook it up to the bottom. I want things to look kind of neat. Uh, okay, so now we can empty out that and grab a little bit here. Fissile fuel, and then we take it out of this guy. So we temporarily turn it off so we don't mess everything up. And we insert fissile fuel. Turn it back on, and now the sides configuration is probably not going to work. Input, output, oh we can, input and output. Okay, so now it should be going in here. Yeah, fissile fuel. All right, so let's get that one, oh no, that one there. Okay, and it can take uh, a thousand buckets worth. That's not too bad. There, okay. Then all we got to do is pump it into here. Uh, we got to pump water into here as well. So the next thing I think is uh, we're going to have to make that kitchen sink, cook the cooking for blockheads one here. So this is a little bit of work, but nothing too complicated. Um, this is just a bucket of water with infinity on it. So I can do that. Uh, yeah, everything else is pretty straightforward. This is uh, this guy with the spirit of calling. Okay, offering to the gods. Yeah, that's easy. And coral stone. I have coral stone and the ore tribe we, which we looked at before. Okay, let's do that. Okay, there, I got one sink. I have enough, I made enough ingredients for four, except for uh, the runes of mana. They're still crafting. They take a while, but uh, one is all we need for the moment. So let's head back down here. And how are we going here? I think we have quite a bit already, yes. And we'll put the sink down too. Uh, hmm, how are we gonna do this? So we gotta get the water in first, right? So let's get the mechanical, let's get, uh, do we need it to be faster than this? I don't think so. Do we have to wait until it fills up? That's another question. Because it will take a while. Yeah. <laughs> it's It can be very big. So I guess while we wait for it to fill up with water. I like how it's actually animated. That's pretty cool. The way it like actually fills up with water. Um, so anyway. What did I do here? Oh, I had to make the aura trove. Yes. Uh, so the next thing was, uh, we do, do we, I guess we do have to make that. Why do we need that for these guys? What's the output of this? I don't even know. Um, what is the next step? Oh, I made that. Yes. And I also made that. Okay. Oh, we get some cookies. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, let's put that away so we can use that later. Then the other thing is uh, we want to... Why do we, we also got a token of terror somehow. 
Uh, I guess because we're scared of this. I don't know. Uh, I guess I could put the... Um, what's the... What is it called? Pressurized tube, yeah. What's the highest level we can do? We can make elite ones. All right. So let's put that in here, I guess. Is that... Oh, wait, no. We've got to set the output. Uh, output blue. Is it... Oh, yeah, there it goes. It's outputting. Okay. Ooh, it's working. Steam. Okay, let's stop it. Uh, all right, so I think we want the steam to just be... Uh, well, no, the steam will go into the turbine when we make that. And then nuclear waste, we got to put into a nuclear waste tank. So, oh, I guess we could do this as well. Uh, oh, wait, we should have done all this first because... Now we missed out on the quests. All right, let's get three fission reactor logic adapters. Even though we've already got a bunch of them made. There. And gravel observer piston redstone signal. Okay. And then we got all of these already. Uh, we got 24 of those, which wasn't enough for the quest. 30. All right, let's just get this going. And the control rod assembly, they wanted five of them. Even though I have five up there, I don't want to dismantle my reactor just to get them out and get the quest. Uh, and then, yeah, so I've set this one up here. I think you actually need two, right? One to output a signal. Yeah, and one to input, like to turn it off if it gets too hot. So I guess we do have to dis disassemble the, the reactor to set that up anyway. Okay, I got that done. And I also made the circuit breaker here. This is just, uh, if you look on the, the wiki, this is how you make it. Um, let me just make sure I have my chunks loaded here as well. I'm pretty sure I do it, yeah. Okay. Um, so then we can make eight radioactive waste barrels. Those are pretty easy. Radioactive. Waste barrels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And then um, I'm going to put these. Um, I don't want to put them here. Uh, I guess I do. So the, the radioactive waste is. Oh, we get some. We get a hazmat suit. That's cool. The radioactive waste is useful. Go away. Uh, nuclear waste. That's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah. Wait. Nuclear waste. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So that's how we make plutonium and also how we make polonium. Um, we need another isotropic centrifuge and a solar neutron activator. We can't make this yet. That requires us a bunch more stuff. But we can make this, which is what we will need to make atomic alloys. In addition to Molten Shadow Steel, that's easy enough to make too. Um, so, I do want to set that up. But the question is, where do we want to set it up? Do we just set it up, like, here, out in the open? Uh, I guess we can. Also, this output, the steam output, has to go to a turbine. But, um, not right now. So, I think what I will do is get a trash can. A liquid trash can for ah oh, come on for the steam and we need to make you ah oh, come on all right let me get that set up and then I'm gonna put the tr the nuclear waste like that no it's gonna have to be not there because we need to pipe into it uh, Alright, let me figure this out. Is that going to work? Can we... Oh, is there like a gas one? Let's see. Oh, it does. Okay, good. So, yeah. I'm just dumping the... Uh, the steam into a trash can. 
and if we activate it they are both empty and then up down here I've made a little bunker I'll decorate this and make it look more like a bunker soon um, but you can see here uh, 0, 0, yeah, 22, 24, 20. So this one is uh, getting the nuclear waste. Uh, this is where we will um, put our processing down here as well. The only thing is that uh, solar neutron activator does have to have access to the sky. So I guess we'll figure something out. Maybe we'll have a little opening for it or something. But now, yeah, this is pretty much running. I think it's safe. I think it is going to... Yeah, that's going up and the temperature is staying steady so i don't have it set to do it like super fast or anything it's at the lowest setting still the default uh what's the burn rate like one or 0.1 0 0.1 so i could up this to one for example and then it will uh, burn faster and use up more water so i should probably not do that <laughs> 0 0.1 now the water's going back up, yes. So yeah, uh, in order to have more water, I guess I could have an extra pipe here or something, I don't know. Uh, but this is probably maybe fast enough. We'll see how we go because this is not making a whole lot of nuclear waste, which we do need uh, nuclear waste to make the plutonium. And then from plutonium, we need a thousand millibuckets of plutonium to make three atomic alloys. And we need, yeah, 10 to 1. So we need 10 buckets of nuclear waste to make uh, the atomic alloys. Uh, it's going to take a long time to get 10 buckets at this rate. Because, yeah, none of these are actually going. But let's get that set up so that we do have enough once we get it. Um... Uh, maybe what I'll do is uh, mechanical. Can I actually just have? Will this work? Let's see. Will I? Will doing this uh, double the rate that it puts it in? So let's set it back to one. And oops, still going down. Okay, zero point two say. That's going up now. So that's like double the speed and nine yeah that's going up still so let's try 0 0.3 three and still going up and it looks like it's still going up but a lot slower i'm gonna leave it at 0 0.3 and uh just yeah because that'll that's like three times faster than what we were doing before which is pretty good and uh, you can see this is going up not too fast but decently fast um and you know as i leave my server running overnight or whatever this is definitely going to fill up quite a lot so the next step is we want to get uh this guy done i don't know why it says i need uh the turbo blade. I only need the turbo blade. So let's just make the turbo blade just to make the quest line happy. Uh, let's head back home. Turbine bl blade. And it just goes into there. So that's easy. We've got some more patterns, I think. It's always good to have a backup set of patterns going. And we put that in here and we'll make the turbine blade. That'll make him happy. Um, that should put some stuff in here, right? Yeah. Oh, I guess there's other stuff going on in there too. No, that's just making the turbine blade. Okay, good. Uh, oh, why is that still being made? Yeah, I'm, st I'm making these runes of mana so I can make more uh, cooking with blockhead sinks. Okay, there we go. That'll make the quest happy. Now we should be able to make this. So we need a pressurized reaction chamber. We need molten shadow steel. So we're going to need lots of shadow steel in a magma crucible. And this one is an, another isotropic centrifuge. Okay, so let's make all of that. Okay, we have a bit over 
a bucket of plutonium. So I think if we put these three in there, it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't have power. <laughs> uh, I think we need one of those ender thingies. This guy. Oh, no, it does have power. Oh, but I probably turned it off. Uh, energy in from the top. Ah, there we go. This could probably do with a speed upgrade uh, because we're going to use this as our, like, when we want to craft atomic alloys, we're going to put a crafter in. Or maybe we could backlog atomic alloys. I don't know. I feel like that's probably not a great idea. Anyway, there we go. We have the atomic alloy. That's this guy. We should be able to make this, like, directly, right? Like, everything else we have now. And then that lets us get into, I guess, antimatter. Wait, what? Is that the only way? Polonium. Okay, that doesn't let us get into antimatter. But the ultimate control circuit is used for a few different things. Let's see. Diamond crafter, I guess, we could use. Uh, what else? A big storage, QIO stuff, quantum entangler portal, although we did get two of them. Oh, that's why we need the the uh, antimatter, the ultimate control circuit, I see. Uh, okay, but let's, uh, I guess we can make the first uh, ultimate control circuit. We will, over time, be able to make more. Ultimate control circuit. Uh, oh, I guess we haven't set that one up yet. But that should be easy enough to do. Uh, how many buckets does it need? 64. Okay, yes, that's fine. Alright, let me set this up real quick. Okay, there we go. We made it. Alright, so I think um, that's probably all we have time for today. Let me just see. How are we doing with the Molten Shadow Steel? Not great, right? It seems to be stuck. Because I have a... Oh, I got some lag. I have a whole bunch crafting here, but they don't seem to be coming through. Uh, let me see what's going on there real quick. I moved the... Oh, wait, it's right there. How did it get all the way up here? So, oh, they're floating up. Well, that's weird. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I moved the um, vacuumulator down here. Because I thought that would be faster than having it up there. But it looks like it's missing out on picking them up. Or at least not picking them all up. I don't think I could get up there. Ah. Okay, uh, it seems to be working now. This one, I've set it up here. And uh, I put a lid on top so that they don't keep floating up above it. But I think what was happening was, if you look down here, when they pop down, they shoot up really fast. You just could uh, briefly see them there. And I think this is probably not fast enough to catch them. Yeah, there they go. See, it shoots up really fast. So at least now this one is able to catch them. And uh, we should be able to get them all back again. Let's see if it picks them up. They'll, they'll come back up there. Yeah, see? Okay, good. All right, but that's all we have time for. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.